Are you looking to take a vacation soon? Don't you wish there was a place where you could enjoy beautiful nature, learn about America's incredible history, enjoy delicious food and drinks, and interact with fellow travelers and locals? Well, you've got to visit Fredericksburg, Texas. This is one of the Lone Star State's smaller cities, but it's one you don't want to miss out on. Let's take a look at the best things to do in Fredericksburg, Texas. Number 1. Visit Wild Seed Farms Your first stop should be the Wild Seed Farms. Here you can see many beautiful flowers spread throughout the fields. You can also enjoy many walking trails where you can get lost for hours. There's even a butterfly garden as well as a shop where you can buy seeds, plants, and food. It's easily one of the most beautiful places in Fredericksburg and a great way to begin your trip. Before we tell you more about the best things to do there, please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Number 2. Stop by the National Museum of the Pacific War Fredericksburg is a great place to visit if you're a history buff. We recommend visiting the National Museum of the Pacific War. It's a large museum that'll rival any other national museum you'll see elsewhere in the country. You'll learn about World War II from the perspective of the battles fought in the Pacific region. There's even an outdoor Pacific combat zone where you can see reenactments of battles. This niche museum is easily one of the most remarkable in the city and is a great way to learn about American history. It's especially great if you're traveling with your family. After you finish your visit to the museum, make sure to also take a stroll around the Japanese Garden of Peace. Number 3. Visit a Church Fredericksburg has many beautiful churches, which are an incredible sight that all visitors should experience. You'll marvel at the architecture and the artwork when you visit a historical church like St. Mary's Church. As the name suggests, Fredericksburg was settled by German immigrants, who wanted to build churches that resembled the ones they attended back home. The churches around Fredericksburg are in the unique Gothic style. It's something you can't miss out on if you love art as well as history. Number 4. Enjoy shopping Fredericksburg is full of great shopping options. For example, you can attend a Trade Days event in downtown. Here you'll get to buy secondhand goods from a variety of vendors. You can find clothing, jewelry, souvenirs, or even the odd antique. You can also shop around Main Street, where there are over 100 shops where you can buy clothing, art, musical instruments, souvenirs, candy, furniture, and more. These shops are unique and run by local entrepreneurs, so it's a nice change from impersonal shopping malls. Best of all, you can find a lot for a little. You'll be able to enjoy a day of shopping without breaking the bank. Number 5. Sour Beckman Living History Farm and Lyndon B. Johnson State Park This farm is located at the Lyndon B. Johnson State Park and Historic Site. Here you can see farmers at work and learn about the agricultural history of Fredericksburg. You'll love the interpreters working on the farm, and you'll see how agricultural life was in the earlier decades of the 20th century. Once you've seen the farm, you can visit Lyndon B. Johnson's National Historical Park. Here you can see his ranch, where you can learn about his life and career as the American president. It's one of the best experiences you'll have in Fredericksburg if you're a history buff. Number 6. Grab a beer As Fredericksburg is a town settled by German immigrants, one could expect it's a great place to grab a beer. There are two breweries in Fredericksburg that you've got to pay a visit to. The first is the Fredericksburg Brewing Company, which is the oldest pub in town. Along with a fine selection of craft beers, you'll also get a variety of delicious food options. You should also visit the Altstadt Brewery, where you can sample craft beers and enjoy a guided tour. There's also a restaurant to enjoy some grub along with your beers. If you find yourself in Fredericksburg, these two breweries are a must-visit. Number 7. Stop by Luckenbach While Luckenbach is technically a different town, it's still going to be one of the most fun parts of your trip to Fredericksburg. It's a two-building town that has a dance hall as well as a bar. It's a great place to spend an evening if you want to drink, dance, and meet people. You get to enjoy live music from some of the greatest talents around Texas. Each day there are live performances, and on occasion there are larger festivals and concerts held at Luckenbach. It's a place where locals and tourists congregate and enjoy great music, food, and drinks. Number 8. Fort Mountain Scott This was the first military post in western Texas, and it was established by the Army in 1848. It was built to protect both travelers and settlers in Fredericksburg. It also held a purpose during the American Civil War. As a visitor, you can see the fort as well as learn about its role in American history. You'll also learn about how previous generations of Americans lived at the frontier. Number 9. Enchanted Rock When you need a break from the busyness of Fredericksburg, you should hike on the Enchanted Rock. You'll enjoy spectacular views, and you'll get to reflect on your trip so far. It's a great place to visit if you're a solo traveler or if you're traveling with your significant other. Apart from its charming towns and cities, Texas is known for its incredible nature. Enchanted Rock will definitely be one of your favorite parts of your trip to Fredericksburg. 
Number 10. Stop by Magnolia Pearl Magnolia Pearl is a vintage clothing shop that you might love for shopping. Even if you don't care for shopping, Magnolia Pearl itself is a work of art, and it's a place you should visit. It's a beautiful property you'll love walking around. As with Enchanted Rock, you can find a lot of peace when walking around the grounds of Magnolia Pearl, even when navigating around busy shoppers. Number 11. The 290 Wine Trail This is a wine trail that has over 70 wineries along the way. After all, Fredericksburg is known as the wine country of Texas. You can stop by different wineries to sample their wines. If you're a solo traveler, this will be a great place to make new friends. If you're traveling with a group, it's a great way to bond with them. You might want to plan traversing along the wine trail in advance. After several wines and lots of walking, you might be in for a long sleep at the end of the day. It's a great activity to do towards the end of your trip. Number 12. Grab a bite. If you're coming to Fredericksburg, you sure aren't going to leave hungry. You want to make sure to try the various cuisines that Fredericksburg has to offer. If you want traditional German cuisine, you'll have to step inside the historic limestone building where you can have a variety of traditional German treats. These will include curry hin, Rinderbarten, Pfeffersteak, Schnitzel, and much more. If you prefer a more modern take on German food, you can find many different restaurants around Fredericksburg that can accommodate you. You can enjoy fine dining or grab a German breakfast at the local bakery. While burgers might be considered quintessentially American, they're actually German, as are many of the great things about America. Make sure you stop by any of the great burger restaurants across Fredericksburg. There are also a great many places you can go for breakfast. Make sure you try as many breakfast options as you can during your stay. Number 13. Munch Food Park more food? Yep, and we thought Munch Food Park deserved its own section. Munch Food Park is an outdoor dining experience where you can enjoy food from food trucks. There will be a variety of options like desserts, breakfast, and lunch options. This is a great place to stop by if you're traveling with your family. If you visit during the weekend, you can also enjoy live music at the park. This is a great way to spend a morning or afternoon. You might want to visit Munch Food Park towards the end of your trip as it's a great place to reflect upon your time in Fredericksburg. Number 14. Take in a show Before you head home, you can end your trip in Fredericksburg by enjoying a play. You can see a play by the Fredericksburg Theatre Company, which has entertained locals and tourists for over two decades. You'll see performances of famous American plays, well-known musicals, as well as local Texas classics. You'll marvel at the brilliant performances, regardless of what show you watch. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you ready to book your trip to Fredericksburg? What are you looking forward to the most? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation for more. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.